Number 10, Chris Hipkins. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Education. When she accepted some responsibility for the Honourable Bill English's statement that a lot of Kiwis are pretty damned hopeless and can't read and write properly, was she referring to the findings of a survey that just 14% of secondary school principals thought their school's government funding was sufficient? The Honourable Hike Parata. Tēnā koe, Mr Speaker. Uh, Mr Speaker, no, but it might mean that the member can't read properly. Um, I was last asked about on English's statement in the House on 5 May. The NZCER survey the member refers to was published two weeks later on the 19th of May. So unless I owned a time machine, it would have been impossible for me to be referring to that. Mr Speaker, it's naive to think that principals would not always argue for more funding, just as I always argue for more funding for vote education. Supplementary question. Supplementary question, Chris Hipkins. Why did she freeze school operations funding in Budget 2016 when 46% of secondary school principals say lack of funding is forcing them to cut field trips, the number of subjects the school offers, and funding for curriculum resources? And that was before the freeze was even announced. The Honourable Hikia Parata. Mr Speaker, I have not frozen any funding whatsoever. What I've done is instead of providing for a universal um, grant is to target that funding to those kids most at risk of not achieving. And in fact, responding to this commentator, quote, the modern education system needs to address poverty and the enormous effect it has on student achievement, improve targeted support to those students who need extra help, either because they're struggling or due to special needs. The quote is from Chris Hipkins, December 2015. Supplementary question. Supplementary question, Chris Hipkins. What specific poverty criteria will be used to allocate the additional funding? The Honourable Hickey Padata. Uh, specifically, those young people who have been identified as coming from long-term benefit-dependent households. Mr. Supplementary Speaker. question, Chris Hipkins. Thank you, Mr Speaker. If school funding is sufficient, why is demand from schools for parents to fork out for donations rising at ten times the rate of inflation? The Honourable Hickey Parata. Well, as the Prime Minister says, because inflation is so low. Um, Mr Speaker, um, the dona donations by definition... <laughs> donations... Helping again with literacy on that side of the House. Donations by definition are voluntary. The funding for schools is provided for the delivery of the curriculum and this government has increased vote education every year that we have been in government. The decision about what donations are asked for are between the board, which is comprised mainly of parents and grandparents, and the school. That is not something I have or wish to have control over. Supplementary question, Mr Speaker. Supplementary question, Tracy Martin. Can the Minister tell us if any work is being done on the revaluation of the delivery of the New Zealand curriculum, considering the new technical advances that now have to be delivered inside that curriculum? The Honourable Hickey Parata. Mr Speaker, I'm not entirely sure I've understood what the question actually is. Would it help if I asked the member to repeat To repeat the it? That would be helpful. Tracy Martin. Thank you. Is the Minister on the Ministry doing any work around the revaluation of the New Zealand curriculum, considering that new technical advances mean that subjects such as art must be delivered in a much more expensive manner when considering the investment into current New Zealand education? The Honourable Hickey Parata. Well, Mr Speaker, again, insofar as I answer the um, question, because I don't know where the assertion comes from that delivering the art curriculum is more expensive, um, what we are focusing on is continuing to grow the quality... Uh, perhaps the member would like to hear my answer. Um, what we're focusing on is growing the quality of the curriculum, and we are seeing the result in that because we are seeing lips in achievement because we have transparent data every year. Supplementary question, Chris Hipkins. If school operations funding is sufficient, why Order. has... Order. Can the member please start the question again? If school operations funding is sufficient, why has the amount of funding contributed to schools by parents through donations increased by over 30% during the National Government's tenure in office? Good question. The Honourable Hickey Parata. 
Mr Speaker, based on the actual returns by schools, donations by parents have remained at a steady 1.8%. Order. Question number 11.